Okay, hello everyone, Clark Towson here. I'm the CEO of INTJ Billing. In this video today, I'd like to talk uh, a little bit about um, offers, um, making offers to people, to business people, coming up with offer documents, um, etc. So, as I said, the only viable way forward that I see for this is to work with the existing business owners within this location. Um, I'm going to have to find out uh, the names of uh, each of the owners of each of these businesses within within Soy 6. Now, I've got some contacts in this location and I'm going to have to start going to weekly meetings here of bar managers and uh, getting to know uh, more of the, the owners and managers within this location. So someone's watching this video and wants to set up a BTC pay survey in another red light environment somewhere else in the world, um, I guess my advice would be you will need to start thinking about uh, establishing relationships with existing business owners rather than go going directly to the sex workers themselves. Um, I think you will need to make offers to those business owners Rather, see, because you're going to be spending money either way, right? You can, you can do a whole lot of sales, marketing and advertising and flood an area with your brand name and, and details of what you're doing. That's going to take time, effort and money. Or you could go directly to the businesses and say, look, I'm working on a speculative new technology. These are the benefits of it. Um, I will pay you X number of dollars or X number of baht or X number of of whatever the local currency is um, to acquire each individual um, each individual uh, sex worker. And I think that's probably a better way to go about it, right? Because you're doing something that's speculative, you're doing something that is innovative, you're doing something that um, may or may not succeed. And if you think about it, the, the business model here in Thailand of these bars, uh, they w they're selling alcohol and they're selling bar fines. Now, each time that uh, a man wants to go with one of the workers, he has to pay a bar fine. That releases the worker uh, for uh, a certain amount of time. I think it's about an hour or two hours. Um, and then that way, you know, it's not prostitution within this environment that's going on. It's this sale of alcohol. Um, the bar fine is just to compensate the business for the lack of or for the loss of that worker for that time that that worker goes off with a foreigner and does whatever, um, you know, activity that they do with a foreigner, whether it's going shopping or um, whatever it is that they want to do, right? So I think uh, the direct payment uh, is the better way to go because it, um, it respects the business owner to say, okay, look, um, you know, it's gonna take 10 to 15 minutes to set up each of your sex workers with, uh, with a hot wallet to go through the KYC process. So if you come up with a fee that is uh, similar to the bar fine fee, where, you know, there's a bit of give and take where you're saying, okay, well, you're benefiting from what I'm doing, um, but it's also costing you a bit because your work is going to be away for 10 to 15 minutes. Let's come up with a suitable, suitable amount, right? And then you can make an offer based on that amount um, and other considerations as well. So these are the sorts of things that I've been, been thinking about within this Soy 6 location after trying to go direct to the workers and um, them not understanding um, basically what I'm, what I'm offering. So that's all I wanted to discuss in this video. Um, all the best, everyone. I'm Clark Towson, CEO of INTJ Billing.